Hi guys, thank you so much for watching our maps lecture. One of the big things that we cover in geography is maps. And I don't know if you know this, but there are three different kinds of maps that we are going to study. So if you are taking notes, I want you to write down all the times you have used a map before. Think Google Maps, Apple Maps, if you have Snapchat, there's Snapchat Maps, there's maps in video games. I bet you have used a map more than you actually think. So in history and geography, there are three main types of maps we will be using. Political, physical, and thematic. The first map we're going to look at is a political map. A political map shows the borders of cities, countries, states, and continents. Here's an example of a political map. This political map shows all of the countries. So you can see down here I'm at Brazil. There's this border between Brazil and Bolivia, Peru, Paraguay. Um, here you have Mexico, there's the border with the United States, a border with Guatemala, a border with Belize. Now, if a country is an island, technically the ocean is that border. So this is a world map, world political map. The next type of map is a physical map. This shows landforms such as oceans, rivers, mountains, and plains. So once again, here's the world map. They also have the political borders on here, but that's not the main focus. The main focus are mountains, which you see here in brown. So the Rocky Mountains here, Sierra Nevada is here, um, the Andes here. Um, green is like a lush area. So this is near the Amazon River. The yellow area is a plains area, so we have those in the middle of the United States. They have them in Brazil. You can see them in Russia, and you can see all the mountains in China, the mountains in, in South, Southern Africa and East Africa. Um, so this is what a political map looks like. If you zoom in on these countries, you would also be able to see the rivers. You can see the Great Lakes here. You see all the oceans labeled. So this is a political, or sorry, a physical map. It shows landforms like mountains, um, rivers, plains, etc. Now a thematic map. This is wrong. This is not a thematic map. A thematic map does not show the border borders of cities, countries, states, and continents. A thematic map shows something based on a theme. So here's this fun map I chose. It shows the most iconic chain from every state. So in Nevada, it's PTs, California, in and out Cold Stone in Arizona, Whataburger in um, Texas, Starbucks for Washington. So a thematic map doesn't necessarily have to do with geography, but it can do with geography. This thematic map is showing food. Now that we know three different types of maps, let's look at the parts of a map. So every map, I lied, not every map you will see has a title, but the title tells us what we are looking at. So the title of this map is the 20 regions of Italy. So you can see they've identified the 20 regions with these little borders. And then if something is really popular there, they add in an icon. So fish, pasta, wine, and meat. And then Sicily for their uh, cathedrals. So the title of this map is the 20 regions of Italy. Most maps will have a legend or a key. It tells us what symbols or colors mean. This map has symbols for energy resources. So you'll see here in South America, there's these gold rectangles. So then I come over to the key and I'm like, oh, that means that there's copper in South America. Um, let's see. Over here in Australia, there's yellow rectangles. Oh, that means there's gold. In North America, there are little black pods and that means coal. So sometimes they're icons. Sometimes they are colors. So in this map of Canada, we see that yellow means wheat. Uh, this peachy color means beef or cattle grain. Purple means potatoes. 
Green means dairy and livestock. So sometimes the legend has icons, sometimes the legend has colors. Next is scale. So scale tells us the distance in real life compared to the map. Because I'm sure if you've ever looked at a map before, it's not as big as the size of where you are going. Like if you wanted to look at a map of Las Vegas, you wouldn't look at a map that's as, really as big as the city of Las Vegas because you wouldn't be able to hold it. So they put these things called scales on certain maps where um, on this scale for Albania, one centimeter equals six kilometers in real life. Okay. This distance in miles, so from 0 to 50, that distance would equal 50 miles on this map. So this just tells us what this scale is from real world to how they created the map. Now, you guys don't know about this, but there's this book you can ask your parents called The Thomas Guide. The Thomas Guide had a grid. And the grid had letters across the top and numbers down the side. So when you were driving somewhere, we didn't have Apple Maps on our phone. We had to pull out the Thomas Guide and figure out where we were going and then trace our route. So you will see this grid has letters across the top and numbers across the bottom. So if I asked you where is the arrow pointing, you would say A1. If I asked you what grid corner the word bay was in, you would say F3. Now, the real grid on real maps is longitude and latitude lines, and that's essentially what these lines correspond to, um, but we won't be looking at a ton of maps with longitude and latitude lines. You just need to know they exist. All right, a compass on the map. The compass tells us the direction of the map. So this is a video game map over here. And it tells us that this is north, this is south, this is east, and this is west. Never eat soggy waffles. Never eat sour watermelon. Whatever you want to use to remember the compass. Um, and then this is a compass rose. This compass rose tells us never eat soggy waffles. But then you also have these little subdirections here where you have northeast, which is between north and east. Southeast, between the south and the east. Southwest, between the south and the west. And northwest. So our school is in the southwest of Las Vegas. Ms. Smith lives in the northwest of Las Vegas. All right, so for each map, I'm going to show you. I want you to write down the type of map, the title, the key, if there's icons, colors, or other, a scale, if there is one, a grid, if there is one, and a compass, if there is one. Please pause the video to tell me the title, the key, the scale, if there's a compass, if there's a grid, and lastly, what type of map this is. Please pause the video and write down the type of map this is, the title, if there's a key, if there's a scale, if there's a legend, and if there's a compass, and if there's a grid. For this map, please write down the type, the title, if there's a grid, if there's a compass, if there's a scale, if there's a key or legend. For this map, please write down the type, the title, scale, legend, grid, compass. And that is it. So tomorrow when we talk about maps, we're going to review this. We're going to review all these maps that you just wrote down all the information to. If you need to, go back to the direction sheet. Write all of these down and then go back through each of the maps and write down your answer so that you can participate in class tomorrow. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.